Welcome back to another All the Shiny Watercolors. Today we are testing out um, this Crafter Square set we got from the dollar store. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is put away the Crazy Art set and the uh, Crayola set. And we're going to flip to the first page of the book because I am down to one, two, three, four, five set pages. So we're going to go with the first one in the book because I still haven't put anything in there. And I keep promising myself I'm going to do this, but then I don't. Yeah, that's not going to work. This paper is 25% cotton, so it's not going to be the best that you can get for your money. Um, but it's $10 for this book, and it's lasted me a while despite doing all these tests. Give me for this. Alrighty. So Crafter Square is a dollar twenty-five as you do and Oh, and I also got this really cool scraper, so instead of credit cards, I can use this to scrape paints with. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, we're going to spray these. I am not using the brush it comes with because I already know that's absolutely awful. But we will use the Crayola brush if I can find it. I think, excuse me, it is up here. bangy sounds. So we have what, eight colors. And we're going to section off the paper real quick. So I'm going to do this test real quick and then I'm going to do this test on another video after adding QRR medium to it. I want to see if that gives me a better better paint. I mean, you know, if that works, then that works, right? I am certainly going to seek out a uh, washi tape that's thinner, because this is really chonky. And though, although it was a great deal, it is chunky and sticky and not my ideal. So if we go one here. This is two. Now we give it six. This is four. Dividing it into two again makes us eight. That's going to be super narrow, so let me see if I can find some narrower tape. There we go. It's not ideal, but still, it's pretty. And there we are. I'm going to flip this back around. I should hold it down for us. Now, these should have been activated now that they've sat here for a couple minutes with water. Like normal. Ooh, look how... Ooh, they are like... Yeah, they're very, very happy to be wet. But, might be too wet. Let's see. Okay. Only slightly chalky.
gonna move that out of the way. So you can see they're not as heavily pigmented as other brands, but they're still usable. I'm so sorry folks. That's the dinner belt to remind me to go make dinner on time. We are happily ignoring it. Alrighty. That looks like a good swatch. So they're workable. Let's pull this off. Boys out. No. Dude, why are you listening? Out, boys out. Sorry. So, I have two girl cats who will sit here calmly and do nothing, but then there's two male cats who will gladly get into things and break them. Because, you know, we've got to look at all the things. Anyway. So satisfying to peel that off. So yes, it's all not as pigmented as their colors, but they're usable. They're not that chalky compared to other brands. They're not grainy. I hate it when I, I'm painting and I feel like I'm rubbing sandpaper on the page. So they aren't that, at least. Um, I could say if we added some QR medium in another video that we'll see how they flow. And I just want to end it there for today. We sampled these paints. They were $1.25 a Dollar Tree. And if this is all you can afford, please go there. Just do it. Um, even better if you go to Winco nearby and you could find this set for 43 cents. Um, and you can get paint brushes for 83 cents and that's even cheaper. Um, the paint brushes aren't that bad. I have them. They're sitting right here in my coral set. So I have a Crayola set. I don't know where I got them because I've not been able to find them again. But these are the crazy art brushes. They don't hold a lot of water, but they are usable. They are paintable. Um, they don't lose bristles, so you see no bristle loss there. They aren't going to give you that perfect thing of having expensive brushes give you, but if this is what you can afford, this is what you can afford. I'm going to show you that they will work. Look. See? Um, I use them for gouache and um, cheap paints, obviously. And you can get a fine line with that yellow. So they're usable, they're workable. And if this is what you can afford, please don't let other people judge you for it. You do you, you be happy in pain. Alrighty, have a great day. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more videos.